the latest episode of Demon Slayer was a feast for the eyes, but it also introduced one of the major Hashiras of the season, Mist Hashira aka Muchiro. He's a no-nonsense kinda guy, with a cold and distant demeanor that would make even the bravest soul quake in their boots. But that's not even the half of it, this dude forced a kid named Kotetsu to go fetch the key to a training model. The training model is called Yurichi Type Zero, and it's a freaking mechanical doll that replicates the progenitor of the Demon Slayer core. It's said to be able to overpower humans and can perform 108 moves with its six arms that move just like a real person's arms. Muchiro uses it for combat training, and it's the main focus of the entire episode. After he's done, one of the doll's arms is already broken, the dude's that strong. He hands the sword over to Tanjiro, who is asked by Kotetsu to train with it. The kid is willing to sacrifice the training doll that's more important to him than his own life, just to help Tanjiro become stronger. It's a heartwarming moment that shows just how much Kotetsu trusts Tanjiro, and how badly he wants to see the Demon Slayer core triumph over the cruel Muzan. But things are about to get even crazier. The Yurichi Type Zero training model surprises Tanjiro with its abilities, overpowering him in training. This hints at the immense strength and efficiency of the real-life inspiration behind the doll, Yurichi, from many years ago. After a brutal training session, Tanjiro finally strikes the doll and its head cracks open, revealing a sword that shocks everyone, including Tanjiro and Kotetsu. Rumor has it that the swordsmith village has an old hidden sword, but it was never found. Since the doll was never beheaded like this before, it proves that the sword was inside the doll for more than 300 years. The sword holds secrets about the swordsmith village and the integration of the Demon Slayer Corps. Since the first episode, the connection between Tanjiro and Yurichi has been hinted at multiple times. So, we can expect the upcoming episode to shed more light on the topic and explore the Taisho era secret even further. Buckle up, folks, this ride's just getting started. Thanks for watching, drop a comment below and let us know what you thought of the episode. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thrilling Demon Slayer content.